going on guys skippy here and welcome back to another episode in our road to glory series today we're back with the second innings of the second test at the oval new zealand putting in a shift first up making 392 only for england to respond with 402 the rdb putting in a shift with the bat and the ball picking up a cheeky two for and a 46 but today it's all about knocking new zealand over for cheap it's 69 for four they've got a lead of 59 the big fella's got the ball in hand so hopefully some wickets can follow ladies and gents get your feet up grab yourself a cold one and just continue to enjoy the career of robin de bank this test match has had a little bit of everything we've made runs we've taken wickets we've been belted all around the joint we've even been held daryl mitchell faces first ball and he's going to leave that through the keeper Got the slip, the gully, the keeper goes back, ring field, bit of shape, or oh, Mitchell trapping down. You'd think that we're not going to be required with the bat second innings. We keep New Zealand under 200, that is a corker. I thought Daryl Mitchell would have bought the smoke this series. He has looked nervous as we're in and he's forward tentatively. Normally we're hit for a boundary in every single over we bowl. Fifth ball here is going to get left. It has been a safe start. Good shape. Last of the first. We're in. Mitchell drives straight to mid-off. Dob ball. 21 are done. And it's 69 for four. We can make that 74 for five. Nichols faces up. Mitchell gone. Oh, there's the cut shot. Gully in play. Well fielded. Well, we've had Nichols drag on in the past. Faster this time. He's trapped back on the crease. Nine balls. Nine dots. Shorter one. Takes it on, and that's almost carried to short mid-wicket. He finds the gap wide of mid on. He pats it back. They come back for two. Yes. We'll make that three. We've got the bunny Blundell on strike. Schnicked him off last innings. Oh, he leaves first up. He tried the back foot drive. Nowhere near it. This time he gets on the back toe. It's a dot to mid-wicket. 23 done, and it's 77 for five. Still disappointed with that leading edge dismissal with the bat as well as we roll in. Oh, he's kicked that. We'll ask the question. Maybe a dodgy LBW, you never know. The day we get the AI leaving the ball on the stumps, we've clocked the game. This time we're straight. Oh, Blundell trap back. Seven off 11. This is intense test cricket. Off cutter, sees him turn the corner. Beautiful day for batting. New Zealand don't seem to want to be out there. Leg cutter this time. Good carry. Stamina just starting to drop. Last of the 25th. Oh, we've hit him on the head. Is he going to roll back under the stabs? Oh, no. So Stokes, he gives us a spell. A couple of wickets are taken. Blundell is still there. It's 121 for seven. Boy, this is not going to be a long one at all. As we roll in and we're smashed to mid-wicket. No run. Or does Stokes just reverse the batting order? At least give us a wicket. Catch that. No, that's worked beautifully back with a square. That's going to be four. So there's your dodgy boundary. Blundell will go short to him. Oh, he's underneath. Last of the fourth over. And we pick one up. Oh, tight lines well left. 37 are done, and it's 129 for seven. Tim Southey, 19 of 35. Decent partnership, this. Catch that. Good team cricket. We continue to document the roller coaster in swinging Yorker dot ball. When we're not the captain of this team, we just have to roll with the punches and perform when given the opportunity. Is another. Oh my gosh, Yorker is bold. He's found wide mid on, single. A big Tim Southey. Slow ball to start. He's hard handed. Oh, you can see. Last of our fifth, Southey. Short ball takes it on, crunches it through forward square. New Zealand are just starting to pick up runs. Do not need a tail end to make 50 against us. Start a fresh over. Southey works this around the corner. Dot ball. Plan here. Just take pace off. Make him play through the offside. You don't have a point in place. So the ball must be full. Oh, there you go. There you go. That is one of the greater balls you'll see without taking a wicket. Oh, this time he's back watching it. So the pressure is built. Five dot balls. Last of our sixth. Oh, he plays and misses again. 41 are done, and it's 138 for seven. So we're simmed out, and there we have it, ladies and gents. Are we going to be required with the bat? Absolutely not. The English three lanes get it done. So Harry Brook goes and picks up his player of the match. It was looking a little shaky in that second inning. Shout out to Johnny Sins and his brother, giving back to the community as England go 2 0 up in the series. 193 for four is what we needed to chase. Harry Brook getting 
94 not out. He got 99 in the first innings. New Zealand bowled out for 201, and that is series done. England win by six wickets and take the series 2-0. We didn't do too much in the second dig. We did plenty with the bat and the ball in the first one. But hey, that is test cricket. And that is how the cookie crumbles sometimes. If we have a look at the top five batting and bowling, Anderson's got nine wickets. We've got eight with a lack of opportunity. Stokes being quite selfish as captain as well. He's got nine, Wagner eight, Broad six. So we're doing the job. Harry Brook with a massive test match. 384 runs for him. Williamson not too far behind. Behind. And, well, if we get the captaincy, it'll be us there soon enough. The player of the series, we haven't had a look in there. I'm sure we'll be back for the next one. But we'll have a quick look at our career statistics. It has been a while. Five test matches, 64 not out is our highest score. An average of 44.20 and a decent strike rate. A couple of 50s there, a couple of maximums as well. The 100 isn't too far away. The first class career, well, it's an overall average of 46. So we're decent with the bat. It's just we need an opportunity at the test arena. With the ball, five test matches, 15 wickets, a best of four for 83. A decent average. It's what you'd expect for a new fella coming through the ranks. And that economy rate looks hot. We're getting a wicket every nine and a half overs. We'll look to trim that up. Get that around Warnies at about 29 as we complete our career. Ladies and gents, that is going to be us for today. It was a short, sharp one, but hey, that is just how the cookie crumbles. And like we say, that is the career of Robin DeBank. You ride the highs, you ride the lows, you ride the experience of coming in to international cricket, knowing your role, shutting your mouth, but most importantly, having some fun. If you have enjoyed it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Leave a cheeky comment down below. Make sure you swing over and catch us in one of our live streams as well. But until the next time, look after yourselves, look after those around you, and I'll catch us in the next one.